Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the pivot feature in Power Query. Now let's say that we had a table of data, let's say with invoice number, this is a three column table. We got a category, amount, and you can see here that we have the invoice number repeated four times here. And, the, and in the category, it shows subtotal, tax, and shipping, and this total due, which is the summation of the subtotal, tax, and shipping. Now to get something that's easier to read, we might want to kind of pivot the values here in this category column and make them uh, header columns. So we have our subtotal, tax, shipping, and total due. And it's all one row instead of four separate rows. Now one way we could do it is using the pivot table feature it, that's already in Excel. If I go to sheet one, I have this data here that's very similar to it. All I need to do is go to insert and pivot table and I'll kind of do this quickly. And, and we just have to put invoice here and category here and the amount here, and we can get rid of our grand totals, right? So we're going to our design, and for our grand totals, we'll just say off rows and columns, right? And so we have our data here. So using the pivot table feature, that's probably kind of preferable if you had data you only need to do it once. Uh, this is not something that you had a lot of data and you, you didn't have to do it on a daily, weekly basis. But if you had to do it on a reoccurring basis, it'd probably be easier to kind of just press one button and have it all done for you, right? And that's where Power Query comes into play. Now, there is a pivot feature in Power Query and all you need to do is go under data and click from table and what it's going to do is it's going to go through the process of creating a table first, then to bring it into Power Query. And yes, my table has headers. The first row are headers. Click OK. And the Power Query editor comes up. And all we need to do is just select that particular column that we want to pivot on. So that's going to be the, sub, the category column. Go to Transform and select Pivot Column. So it's going to pivot these values into its own separate columns. Now it's going to ask you where's the value is going to come from. So that the values are going to come from this amount column. So I'll select on that. And also I want to select on advanced options and make sure that it doesn't get ag aggregated. So it doesn't get summed up or averaged or anything like that. Click OK. And now it's going to go through the process of bringing that over. So now we have these values over. Go to Home and Close and Load. And now we're going to have the values come across as tables or, or as columns. Right, so 4582, uh, I have my sheet one here. We have a total of 251, 24, 8, and 283. We know that we have our, well, let's see, 4582. I think that's somewhere down here at the bottom. So let's go take a look at that one. 4582, right here. 251, 24, 8 equals 283. And so that brings it over here, right? So that's the way we can do it. And so, so if we have something that gets added to the bottom all the time, let's pretend we're adding something here. Uh, I'll, I'll put one, two, three, four, and just make this go four times. Control D to duplicate that. Let's Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Let's make some numbers here. Subtotal 100, tax is 10, shipping is 10, and that makes it 120. Right, and all I need to do now is just right click. Oops, let me uh, press enter there. Right click and click refresh, and now you notice one, two, three, four shows up here. Right, and so that automatically added that. So if I had an instance where I'm adding more stuff, I'm gonna say one, 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 and we're gonna say that have Control D to duplicate. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Let's just use the same data again, right? Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Let me go to sheet sheet uh, three here. You can see it doesn't show up. All I need to do is right click, uh, refresh, and now it's going to show up here. So it makes it a lot easier when you really think about it. I don't really have to do too much if all I need to do is just copy and paste values down to the bottom, or if this is something that we get on a consistent basis that we can just copy and paste the values in and all we need to do is just do a right click refresh and it will show up. So that's the way that we can use the pivot feature in Power Query. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.